Hey, good morning, guys. How are you? Everyone well? Anyone stay out too late last night? Yes, yes, yes. So my name is Adam Kennedy. I'm the consulting engineer for Global Service Provider at uh, Hewlett Packard Enterprise, but more specifically, the Aruba networking arm. Anyone familiar with the Aruba brand or the Aruba products in the audience? Yes? No? Nobody? Uh, you are. I'm going to pick on you, sir. Can you tell me when Aruba was founded as a company? Aruba was actually founded in 2002, and the reason that I bring that up is experience in this space actually really matters. Um, we were a cloud-first native company uh, founded in 2002, so we have a long longevity of providing security solutions uh, to organizations, to communities, to global service providers. Uh, and I bring this up because we've always been focused at Aruba on three main things. The applications that users like yourself are using in the network, uh, the devices and your credentials as a user that permits you to do your job, and also all of the uh, influx of the devices that are on the network now, the massive devices that you're seeing around this venue, sensors, uh, IoT sensors, cameras, uh, even the devices that you're carrying in your phone. Uh, but we've always been very, very centric on providing something called role-based access control for all these devices. So security has always been part and paramount to what we do as an organization. We were actually acquired by Hewlett Packard in 2015, uh, and we now lead actually the networking arm of Hewlett Packard uh, Edge Networking. Uh, so all of the leadership from Aruba was brought on board to lead that portfolio go forward. So we've got a long standing history of, uh, of, of experience to provide secure applications uh, across the board in our entire portfolio. Of course, all of this is now being ingested by our broader GreenLake portfolio and more specifically Aruba Central. Aruba Central is the cloud native networking program and platform that terminates connections and configuration for all of our networking devices, our access points, our switches, our gateways, and also provides that central point of policy and enforcement for all of these devices within the network. And why is that important? People like yourself require connectivity. Uh, your network operators and your providers and your organization want to provide that to you. People demand it no matter where they go. But of course, security is always a concern within that space. What we want to do is ensure that we're providing the least amount of privilege and ensuring that your actually privileges are mapped through your duration um, uh, and connection through the network. Regardless if you come on board to the network over the wire or over the wireless, we have a means to profile your device to ensure that we're actively providing a common user experience and a good user experience on the basis of your credentials. And the concept of zero trust is talked about very, very frequently, but it's actually more difficult to provide than what you might think. Anyone out in the bar last night? Anyone go for drinks, stay out too late? So what I like to talk about when I talk about zero trust is a couple of different facets. Uh, when you get to a bar or a, a restaurant, they check your ID at the door, they make sure you're of age to order sangria. But if I get in, clearly I'm old enough to have sangria. I get in, they can say that I'm, I'm actually allowed to be in the bar because my credentials match what I'm saying. But after I've had four pitchers of margaritas, my persona may change. I might start to act a little bit differently. So it's not just about gating your security at the door. It's about providing that pervasively as you continue to move through the network. So we continuously monitor people's personas and their devices. And of course, all of that information is ingested into the GreenLake data platform. So when you connect to Aruba and Aruba Central, we're not only profiling you and your devices against your network and your company, we're harnessing the broader power of the GreenLake data lake to compare you to other devices in that space, looking for anomalies, looking for things that should require remediation. If we see deviations, we're actively able to change your role, to change your persona, to quarantine you, or even remove you from the network on demand in real time. It's a system that we call dynamic segmentation. We do this regardless of, again, if you come in over the wire, if you come in over the wireless, if you're a headless IoT device, or it's a corporate laptop. If we notice that there's an anomaly and a device is suddenly uploading large amounts of data in the middle of the night, we know that that triggers and we action that information using our AI engine in Aruba Central to provide remediation and also positive experiences for the network operators that are providing the network connectivity. There's a lot of things that make up zero trust. Uh, you're probably familiar with many of the, uh, the acronyms on this screen uh, and we're very cognizant that uh, there's a lot of islands of people out there. We're, we're very cognizant that we're not the only vendor in this space. Um, we've recently made a couple of acquisitions. Uh, one was a company called Silver Peak. It was done in 2018. That is our full fledged enterprise SD-WAN platform. Uh, more recently, we've acquired a company called Access Security. 
natively, Aruba did things very, very intrinsically from an east-west perspective, securing devices. We were very focused on premise security. But with the recent acquisitions, we're now able to extend that type of security in the cloud, regardless of your cloud provider, per application, per user, and per stream. So again, we have the ability to provide a full stack solution. But we're also very cognizant that there are many islands and we actually have, by way of a few of our acquisitions, a couple of products that will help you get off of those islands. Uh, in 2011, we acquired a company called Avenda, which has now been rebranded as Aruba ClearPass. Aruba ClearPass is a third party vendor agnostic product, which is our secure NAC policy engine and AAA enterprise grade radius server. And it supports a multitude of providers. We support and have actually large deployments of our competitors on ClearPass without a single piece of Aruba hardware. So we have vendor agnostic solutions to help you get off of some of those islands. And of course, at the time that you're ready to have a conversation about full stack, we would love to have that conversation with you. So what should it really look like? It needs to incorporate all of the things that you do. So again, I mentioned earlier the applications, the things and the users and the credentials that actually provide that network connectivity. Of course, it has to include a unified portfolio. At Aruba, we have one singular portfolio. Uh, there is not a separate SKU depending on how you want to deploy our service. Any one of our products can be deployed in a multitude of ways, whether it's small office, home office, a regional campus or a large venue such as this. It also needs to operate anywhere. So we have on-prem solutions. Of course, our cloud-based solution is probably the most predominant. Uh, and the ability to, of course, acknowledge that some people are accessing a client and connectivity in the data center and their own environment or cloud providers. And we also have the ability to actually deploy on-prem. The real crux of this is providing a single point of construct for your universal visibility. And again, that is Aruba Central. Aruba Central provides you that central point of policy management and enforcement for all of the devices within the network. And of course, we have now the ability to provide global policy across the board. Again, regardless of your device, whether it's a headless IoT device or whether it's your corporate laptop, providing a unified policy. And we're constantly monitoring your user session to provide that quality of experience throughout the lifespan of your time on that network. And again, providing that information northbound to our data lake, comparing anomalies in real time to ensure a good user experience and also ensuring that any anomalies are remediated and removed from the network. Edge Cloud Enforcement, it's across the entire portfolio. All of our access points actually have a stateful firewall built in as do our controllers. So we're very much a security first company. All of our products inclusive of SD-WAN have unified uh, IDS and IPS and unified threat management. So again, we take security very close, uh, very uh, uh, cautiously and, uh, and close to heart at Aruba. Of course, it's not uh, complete without AI automation. Part of this is also providing that rich telemetry to vendor operators and global service providers to help them understand how to remediate things when things actually go wrong. Uh, sometimes it is the Wi-Fi, but most times it's actually not the Wi-Fi. It's something in between that is impacting that user experience. But with Aruba, GreenLake and Aruba Central, we're able to provide that in a single stack, but again, also wanna help you get off the island that you may be on. And with that, I thank you for your time.